What's up everyone, it's Bucky. Welcome to your fifth Python tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to actually make programs that you can actually save and execute and treat them like a regular program. Now, the thing that we were using right now, idle, is just the interface and it's uh, pretty cool for testing out things. But the only problem with this is anytime we build a program and we exit this, it's lost and we can never get it again. So what would be the point in creating Python if we can never save our programs? So now I'm going to show you guys um, how to do something where you can save your programs and uh, show them to people and execute them anytime you want. So instead of uh, this little thing right here, what we need to do is if you're running idle, go to File, New Window, and this new window pops up right here. And this is the window that's going to allow you to save and also execute your Python scripts and programs. So before we even uh, save it, we actually need a program. So just go red and go red. Go ahead and print something real quick. Uh, print hey now brown cow. And let's go ahead and save this. So go ahead file. Once you get a little program written, save. And go ahead and save it to somewhere you're gonna remember. Uh, make a name for it and go ahead and give it a name press period and the extension you want on it is PY now this is very important this is the most important part of the tutorial so pay attention the only thing you can have when saving a python file is name it and put dot PY this is going to save it as a python file next once you got your P PY extension go ahead and press save now you can execute it so go ahead and once you got your file, there's a couple things that you can do uh, to execute it. Now, another thing I want to tell you guys, before you execute your program, you have to save it somewhere. So if you're like, all right, I'm not going to save it, I'm just going to run it, you can't. You got to um, save it before you can run it. So there are two different ways once you save your file, you can run it. Go ahead and press run, and then you can go ahead and run module. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, your little idle pops up and it runs it for you. Another thing that you can do is just press F5 on your keyboard and same thing. Not too exciting, but just a little tidbit of information. So again, um, well, let me just move on to the next thing. Um, let's go ahead and add a little bit more to our program. And instead of this, Let's go ahead and set a variable and let's make it do something useful like x equals raw underscore input. And I'm doing this because I want to show you guys that it can actually be used as a regular program. So let's go ahead and make an input. Um, let's have something like enter name semicolon. And on the next line, go ahead and print out um hey and then it'll print out put the plus sign and then x and what this program is going to do is have you enter a name store an x and then it's going to print hey and then your name using this so copy that and i'm going to show you guys how to do something right now first thing i want to show you guys is if you try to run this without saving it so i'm going to go ahead and press run run module and it's going to say uh -uh, I don't think so Bessie this must be saved before you can even run it so go ahead press OK to save and then it runs so that's what happens if you um, try to run your file without saving it so you're gonna go ahead and enter your name my name Bucky press enter hey Bucky and this is why uh, creating it in a separate file is useful now we get to actually make a regular program instead of just seeing all the code before. And this is actually an application that can be useful to someone else besides ourselves. So that's one thing that you can do with it. Another thing that you can do with this is let me go ahead and, well, I won't X out here. But as you can see, here's where I saved my file right here on my desktop. So I can treat this as a regular program right now just saying like it's any other program like Microsoft Word or anything like that so the way you do this is just double click it like a regular program 
and let me double click that and bam look at that we just had a regular program that we created so let's go ahead and put enter name let me put Bucky and whoa what just happened what it did was it executed but it happened so fast that we couldn't see it and I'll tell you guys why because what this program does is and this is gonna I'm not just telling you that you hold on let me get my thoughts together I'm not just telling you guys this for fun you guys are actually gonna need to know this what this program is doing is it runs this and then it runs this and once it gets done running and everything it's like alright I did my job see ya I'm leaving it did exactly what we tell it to but not what we wanted it to so what we're gonna need to do now and what we're probably going to do need to do for the rest of these tutorials is add another line of code and that's raw underscore input now in your parameters we got to give them a prompt press enter and what this is going to do let's go ahead and remember save it and what this is going to do right here once I put these around now I gotta save it again. Oh, so much work, so little time. Now, what this line of code is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to actually see the output on our screen and see what we created instead of just running the code and disappearing. So again, this creates the program and this allows you to actually see what's going on. So now, once we click our program and run it, and what an awesome program we built. I'm gonna sell this baby for millions. It says enter name. Bucky, enter. Now it actually shows us what we do instead of just running it real quick and disappearing. So now we see our program. We can press enter, exit, wham, bam, perfect. A little too easy. So again, to sum up this, again, um, the graphic interface is pretty cool, but whenever you want to save your programs, you have to make a file, and you do that by putting file, new window, and then this brings up this and you can make and save permanent programs that you can build and come back to later and later um, what this did right here is pretty much allowed you to enter a variable set it to X this is just a print statement and this last line right here is I'm just showing it to you guys because instead of just having um, a program that runs and disappears this line we're gonna be using it a lot from now on especially since we have permanent programs now to actually see what's going on instead of just running the program and disappearing before we can even tell what's going on. So that is how you do that and that is your quick tutorial on how to save and run programs. Um, if you have any questions then just leave it in the comment box and I'll try to answer or hopefully someone else can answer for you if I don't get to it. So again thank you guys for watching. Follow everything I did on once you learn how to save and execute programs from your uh, text editor what I just showed you, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.